In the dusty corners of a forgotten attic, an old painting catches Lily's attention. An unexpected gem amidst the cobwebs, the painting exudes an ageless beauty that only time can bestow. Its colors, though faded, still dance in a harmony that speaks of a master's touch. Lily, a young artist with a soulful appreciation for all forms of art, is instantly drawn to it. Her heart thrums with excitement as she lifts the painting, dust particles spiraling into the dim, attic light. The painting is old, yes, but its allure is timeless. She runs her fingers lightly over the canvas, feeling the ridges of dried paint under her fingertips. Suddenly a peculiar thing happens. The scene on the canvas shifts like a mirage playing tricks on her eyes. Stunned, she pulls back her hand, but curiosity, that persistent cat, pulls her back. She touches it again, and the painting shifts once more, the image morphing into a different scene. As her fingers brush the canvas, the painting seemed to come alive, changing before her very eyes. With a gasp of surprise, Lily watched as the painting transformed, revealing a new scene. The once tranquil landscape of a sunlit field was now replaced by a bustling marketplace from what appeared to be the Renaissance period. The canvas came alive with vibrant colors, depicting merchants haggling over vibrant fabrics, the air thick with the scent of exotic spices and the sound of life in a time long past. Lily's heart pounded in her chest as she took in the intricacies of the scene. The painting wasn't just showing her a different era, it was inviting her in, asking her to be more than a mere spectator. The canvas pulsed under her touch, as if it had its own heartbeat, its own life force. Her eyes were drawn to a small boy in the corner of the painting, his eyes filled with wisdom beyond his years. He was not engaged in the market's hustle and bustle, but sat quietly, carving something out of a piece of wood. The boy looked up, his gaze meeting hers, and in that moment, Lily felt a strange connection, a sense of familiarity. This was no ordinary painting. It was a portal, a gateway to another time and place. And Lily, with her artist's curiosity, couldn't resist the temptation to delve deeper. She decided then and there to explore this enchanted painting further, to uncover its mysteries, and to learn from the scenes and characters it presented. As she stepped back, the painting transformed once again, the marketplace fading away, leaving behind only the image of the boy and his carving. She reached out, tracing the lines of the painting with her fingers, and felt a shiver of anticipation. What stories would the painting reveal next? What secrets lay hidden in its depths? She realized then that the painting was not just a relic from the past, but a storyteller, a time-traveling historian. It held within its frame centuries of history, of love and loss, of triumph and defeat, of humanity's greatest moments and darkest hours. Each brushstroke held a secret, a glimpse into a world long past. As Lily delved deeper into the painting, she embarked on a journey like no other. It was as if she had been granted a magical key, a key that unlocked doorways to epochs long past and futures yet to be. Each scene that unfurled on the canvas was a vivid tapestry of a different era. There was the grandeur of the Renaissance where sculptors and painters breathed life into marble and canvas. Then she found herself amidst the hustle and bustle of the Industrial Revolution, where wheels of progress turned tirelessly, reshaping the world. And with a gentle brush of her hand, the canvas would ripple and change, whisking her away to the serene tranquility of the Japanese Edo period, where every stroke of ink on parchment was a dance between discipline and freedom. The painting was more than just a mere display of history. It was alive, teeming with characters who were as real as you and me. There in the heart of ancient Greece, she met a philosopher, his wisdom echoing through the ages. In the Victorian era, she encountered a suffragette, her spirit unyielding, her voice a clarion call for equality. Each character, a guide, a mentor, helping her decipher the cryptic messages hidden within each tableau. But this journey was not just an exploration of the past, it was a voyage into the future too. On the canvas, she saw a city of glass and steel reaching for the stars, its denizens moving in a symphony of light and sound. And there she met a scientist, his eyes gleaming with the promise of tomorrow, his words a prophecy of the marvels yet to come. Every scene, every character, was a piece of an intricate puzzle. Each revelation, a clue leading her deeper into the labyrinth of the painting's mysteries. She was not merely observing history, she was interacting with it, 
learning from it, becoming a part of it. With each touch, the painting revealed a new part of the puzzle, enticing Lily further into its depths. The journey had just begun, and who knew what marvels awaited her in the next scene. The enchanted painting had become her gateway to the annals of time, and she was eager to explore what lay beyond. But the painting was more than just a magical artifact, it held messages, hidden within each scene. These messages were not simple texts or cryptic codes, they were profound insights, touching on themes of love, loss, and the passage of time. Each scene held a different message, a different piece of wisdom, waiting to be discovered by the curious and the brave. And Lily, our young artist, was both. The first message she found was in a scene depicting a bustling marketplace from the Middle Ages. It was not in the myriad of faces or the vibrant tapestries, but in the humble hands of an old fruit seller. His hands told a story of resilience and perseverance, a testament to the indomitable human spirit. It was a message of endurance, a reminder that no matter the trials we face, we have the strength to overcome. The second message was hidden in a scene of a Victorian ballroom filled with swirling gowns and dashing gentlemen. Amidst the opulence, a young woman stood alone, her eyes filled with longing. It was a tale of unrequited love, a poignant reminder of the bittersweet nature of love itself. It was a message of empathy, an invitation to understand and share the feelings of others. The third message was in a scene of a war-torn battlefield from the First World War. Amidst the chaos and destruction, a single white poppy bloomed, untouched by the surrounding devastation. It was a message of hope, a testament to the resilience of life, and a reminder that even in the darkest times, there is always a glimmer of light. Each message shaped Lily's understanding of the world and her place in it. They taught her about the power of resilience, the complexity of love, and the enduring hope that underpins our existence. They showed her that life is a tapestry of experiences, each one significant, each one meaningful. Each message was a lesson, a piece of wisdom passed down through the ages, waiting to be discovered. As Lily unraveled the final message, she began to understand the true purpose of the enchanted painting. The last scene in the painting was a stunning tableau of a myriad of characters and events, each one a nod to the scenes that had come before. This was not simply a collection of random images, but a beautifully woven tapestry that told a story, a story of humanity's strength, courage, and resilience through the ages. Each scene, each character, each moment that had come alive under Lily's touch was a piece of a larger puzzle. And as Lily studied this final scene, the pieces began to fall into place. The painting was a guide, a compass pointing the way for those who dared to explore its depths. It was a narrative of our collective past, rich with wisdom and lessons to be learned. The painting's purpose was not to show the viewer a static, unchanging image of the past. No, it was much more than that. It was an active participant in the viewer's journey, offering guidance and inspiration at every turn. The painting was a storyteller, a mentor, and a friend. Lily realized that the painting was not about the past, but about the present and the future. It was about the viewer, about their journey, their struggles, and their triumphs. It was about understanding that we are all connected, that we are all part of a larger story. The enchanted painting was a mirror reflecting not just scenes from bygone eras, but the viewer's own life, their own journey. It was a tool for introspection, for self-discovery. It was a reminder that we are all part of the grand tapestry of life, and that our actions, our decisions, our struggles, and our triumphs are all threads in that tapestry. And so Lily understood. The painting was not just a window to the past, but a mirror reflecting the viewer's own journey. It was a guide, a teacher, a friend. It was a reminder of the power of stories, of connection, and of hope. It was a testament to the beauty of life in all its complexity and wonder. With a final touch, Lily stepped back from the painting, her journey complete. She had traveled through the canvas of time, meeting characters from different eras, each carrying a message, a story, a piece of the puzzle. She had stepped into scenes of conflict and harmony, courage and fear, love and loss. The enchanted painting was more than a magical artifact, it was a mirror reflecting the world's history, its triumphs and tribulations. Lily had become an explorer, a historian, a guardian of tales untold. 
She had connected with figures from the past, learned their stories, and understood their struggles and victories. Her journey through the painting had not only unveiled hidden messages, but also revealed the power of art and history to her. They were not just subjects in books or pictures on a wall, but living, breathing entities that could teach, inspire, and guide. The enchanted painting, once a forgotten relic, had become a cherished guide, forever changing the way Lily viewed the world.